Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, but before we get into that, I just want to take a minute and ask you guys to make sure that if you like this type of content, that you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to be notified of any videos I post here on the channel. And if you could do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up, that helps the channel out greatly every time you do that. Anyway, on with the news. The very first thing that I have for you guys is some information on Chaos Effect JP. Not long ago I had promoted the fact that he had kind of an Ultimasaurus model, a version of the Ultimasaurus prototype that he personally had created and was selling on his eBay store. Well, he actually has quite a few other models that I did not touch upon in that video. And as you can see from this image right here, we can see he's even got some Zilla models that he is currently selling. And you can, of course, also take note to the fact that there is that really cool Jurassic Park prototype Triceratops that he has also created. Another image of that right here. Really cool looking sculpt. Another figure that I'm sure is on the want list of many Jurassic Park collectors. And on top of those, you can see from this image that he has even more different figures that he is currently selling. And again, all of these figures can usually be found on his eBay store. So if you are interested in picking up any of these really cool figures that, again, were created by Chaos Effect JP, you can head to the link in the description as I will have a link to his eBay store right there for you to head on over there and check out. And then as far as BVS Artworks goes, they will actually be joining forces with Lone Trike Studio to release some really cool sculpts that they had come up with, or at least Lone Trike Studio had come up with. And uh, normally BVS Artworks is basically a paleo artist who paints up different dinosaurs on a commission style basis for numerous different customers. But he's actually again going to be joining forces with Lone Trike Studio to paint up some of their sculpts and release the models in a very limited run. The very first one you can see is a Dimetrodon, and it's a really cool kind of a relaxing version of a Dimetrodon. You can see some various paint ups that he had done on these Dimetrodons, and of course you can basically come up with any paint scheme you would like, it really just depends on you and your personal taste. You can contact him with whatever style paint up you would like, or you can of course pick from the ones that you see here. But again, if you are interested in this, I would recommend contacting BVS Artworks in the very near future because as they have stated, it is a very limited run of these models. There will be other models of different species in the future, but as far as this Dimetrodon goes, again, very limited means there's not going to be many. So make sure you contact BVS Artworks to inquire further about purchasing some of these and having them paint them up for you. I will include a link in the description to BVS Artworks so you can do just that. And then as far as the Ancestors line, I just recently promoted the fact that they will be releasing an Edmontosaurus model. Well, they are also going to be releasing another new model, and you can see it is an Atrociraptor. Really cool looking model, and it's actually in a 135th scale size range, so it is pretty small, which is something that's very convenient for many people if you are like me that has an overflowing collection of figures. An occasional smaller model is always a good thing to add to your collection. And what is really cool about this is, as you can see, the model comes with a base, but it also comes with an interchangeable head, so you can have the mouth open or you can have the mouth closed. It's really depending on your preference. And you can actually pre-order it right now for only $6. I don't believe that includes shipping, but that is an insanely cheap price for a custom-made dinosaur figure. And if you pre-order it, you will get an Albertosaurus in 164th scale completely free, which you can see the image of the Albertosaurus right here. So a pretty incredible deal going on currently with the Ancestors line. So just like everything else, I will include a link in the description to the Ancestors line on Instagram where you can contact them to inquire further about pre-ordering this beautiful figure. Or if you do not have social media, you can contact me and I can contact them for you. And then as far as Passion Charger goes, they have officially put up the pre-order for their 135th scale Pycnonomosaurus and their Baru Titan, which is really cool. Again, it's a set, kind of a scene, a diorama, which the Pycnonomosaurus has some infants there feeding on a deceased Baru Titan. And the title of the entire scene is called Fall of Titan. This set, of course, comes in a few different variations where you can order the entire set for 270 US dollars and you get the babies as well as three trees or you can just get the Baru Titan for 180 US dollars and then you get one tree or the Pycnonomosaurus and you get two babies and two trees for 185 US dollars. Shipping is included with all of those prices and again a really cool scene honestly possibly my favorite from Passion Charger so far. It is a really cool looking scene. 
beautiful and realistic scene with two unbelievably awesome species chosen for this diorama, two species that I do not have in my collection at all, and I'm sure many people do not. So if you are interested in this, I will include a link in the description to where you can contact Passion Charger on Facebook to purchase this beautiful model, or you can contact me and I will contact them for you if you do not have social media. And then as far as Rod's random work goes, he is currently in the process, of course, on working on more new models as he never seems to take a break from it. And you can see basically what he's coming up with currently, a beautiful looking Lycaenops. And this is obviously very Jurassic Park inspired as this was a really cool figure from the Jurassic Park line. And he's given it a much more realistic and updated look. And uh, I think it looks great, honestly. Something that he hasn't done or as far as I'm aware previously would be create some really cool prehistoric mammals so i'm very excited to see how this one turns out it honestly looks incredible already and then he has shown us this image again to further hype us up for the figure potentially give us a clue on maybe some articulation with the figure and everything like that really cool stuff as always from rod's random work and i really can't wait to see more about this figure as it progresses but he has also given us a look at his young Carnotaurus as it has been fully printed out. I don't believe he's completely finished with it yet, but it looks amazing already. I am very excited about this figure and would love to add this one to my collection. A Rod's Random Work version of a Carnotaurus is just incredible, and we can see exactly that right here. A beautiful looking, pretty much a younger version of Carnotaurus Toro here created by Rod's random work. And then as far as Marco makes goes, he has recently sculpted out a bust for the Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus, and it is insanely beautiful. You can see from these images just how unbelievably beautiful and picture perfect, in my opinion, the sculpt of this Giganotosaurus is something that I would love to get my hands on, and he actually has intentions of creating a full body version rubber source at some point as well, and with detail like this, it's easily going to be the best version of the Dominion style Giganotosaurus that I think we'll see from anybody, and that's without even seeing a good image of the upcoming Mattel version. I feel like Marcos will, of course, destroy that because this looks insanely gorgeous if you ask me and many people are kind of unhappy with the giganotosaurus from dominion but i personally i really do quite like it dinosaurs are usually never exactly accurate in the jurassic world or jurassic park franchise so a very cool kind of stylized version of a giganotosaurus coming for that film and this model from marco perfectly replicates that and he's also shown off some beautiful images as well as video of his upcoming rubber source Carnotaurus. And I don't think there's ever been a Marco Makes model that I wanted more in my life than this Carnotaurus. Of course, being the biggest Carnotaurus nerd on the planet, I need to have this in my collection. It is such a gorgeous interpretation of the Jurassic style Carnotaurus. And of course, being a Marco sculpt, it is as highly detailed as it gets. An incredible looking Carnotaurus all around. What a world I live in right now when I've got a beautiful Carnotaurus coming from both Rod's random work and Marco makes at the same time. And I honestly can't even fathom how cool it would be to have both together on display in my collection. More insanely awesome work coming from Marco makes as always. And then as far as Star Ace Toys goes, we recently got a brand new look at their upcoming Coelocanth model. This model will be entering the Wonders of the Wild line, which I have covered quite a bit here on the channel. I've reviewed a few different models from the Wonders of the Wild line, but this is one that I have not had the opportunity to take a look at yet, and it is a beautiful looking coelocanth, like they have really done a great job, very nicely replicating what we know the coloration of the animal to be as well. It looks honestly like a real living, breathing coelocanth. This is one that I would really like to see in hand, and I am hoping to get my hands on it at some point and add it to my collection, and of course review for you guys, because it is easily the nicest coelocanth model that I've ever seen in my entire life, and that's no surprise coming from a Sean Cooper sculpt. You know it's going to be incredible, but just in general being a Star Ace model, it is fantastic. Everything that I've ever had from Star Ace has been some of the best models to enter my collection, and you can also see there is a coelocanth fossil replica that comes with the model if you do purchase it, so insanely awesome stuff there on the part of Star Ace, and they've actually given us kind of a sneak peek as well at another model that is currently being sculpted out from Sean Cooper for the Star Ace Wonders of the Wild line, which we can see is a Spinosaurus. We can basically see some progress here as we go on the model from beginning to where he currently stands on the progress of it, so I'll be very excited to see that 
as well when it eventually gets revealed from Star Ace. As far as the Beasts of the Mesozoic line goes, I just wanted to let you guys know that there is currently a Black Friday sale going on and it lasts until tomorrow where you can get yourself 10% off of any order as long as it is an in-stock item on the Creative Beast Studio website. And this is a one-time use only code, so make sure you take advantage of that code. Place an order and get yourself some awesome Beasts of the Mesozoic figures right now. Make sure you use the code CYBERWEEKEND21 at checkout again to get yourself a 10% off discount currently until Tuesday on the Creative Beast Studio website. And then as far as Nanmu goes, they did unveil their new paint scheme for the Brachiosaurus. And previously I was a little confused because the brownish version, in my opinion, didn't really look too Jurassic Parkish, And that's usually the first paint scheme they reveal would be like the Jurassic Park style version. This newest one though with the grayish tones I think looks a lot more Jurassic Parkish. In fact, in my opinion, it looks pretty much perfect as far as the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus goes. So that is really exciting. I think both versions are honestly the most beautiful interpretation of a Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus I've ever seen really well done on both the sculpt and paint aspects and we've even been given a closer look here at the face of the Brachiosaurus to show you how highly detailed it is and you cannot dare deny that that is some incredible detail there included in the head sculpt of that Brachiosaurus as always Nanmu never fails to impress. And then as far as Collect Day goes, we did report on their final reveal for 2022, which was the Triceratops, but they actually have another reveal that they had just put up, and it's not really anything like as far as their main dinosaur line goes, but it was a very cool looking AR set for the prehistoric world line with some minis and everything that you can see here coming in early 2022. It's nothing incredible, but something that I thought maybe you guys would be interested in, and I didn't want to miss out on that announcement, so I did want to make sure to update you guys on the fact that that is something that will be coming from Collect Day for their 2022 line. And then as far as Eduardo Garcia Rod, who I had promoted some of his work not long ago, showing off some really cool Jurassic Park style prototype figures that he had created, similar to the Chaos Effect JP models, but he actually has come up with another model, and it is easily my favorite thing that I've seen from him. This time it is an absolutely massive and incredible looking Mementi source. I really love this model easily. The most impressive work that I've seen from him and he has created some really cool stuff in the past but this is just drop dead gorgeous really large looking model as a Mementisaurus should be and I really do actually quite like the paint scheme that he's chosen for it as well very nice very realistic looking which again I'm not always a huge fan of greens on sauropods sometimes I feel like it just looks a little weird but he has done a great job on this Mementisaurus and I do believe if you contact him you can order yourself one of these incredible models and he will custom make it for you as he does with everything in his line so I will include a link in the description to Eduardo Garcia Rod's Facebook account as well so you can contact him and if you do not have social media you can contact me and I will contact him for you and the final thing I have as far as Mattel goes it's nothing incredible not like we've had some really cool information recently as far as upcoming you know toys and stuff coming from them for the Jurassic line we haven't got any of that today but what we do have is a whole bunch of deals currently going on on target.com since it is Cyber Monday they do have quite a few different deals going on for the Jurassic line, and you can see a few here. We have the Carcarodontosaurus and the Stegosaurus currently on sale for $13.99. I think that's a really good deal for both of those. Honestly, tempting to buy some more of those. We also have the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex for $35.99, as well as the Extreme Chomp and Spinosaurus for $24.99. Funny enough, I think $24.99 was the price range for the original Spinosaurus on Target.com. So you've got a little bit of a deal there. You also have the Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus for $27.99. The Jurassic World 15 pack of minis for $23.99. And the Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus and Ford Explorer set for $39.99 as opposed to the $49.99 regular price. So some really cool deals on Target currently. I don't know how many other Cyber Monday Jurassic deals there are. Those are the only ones that I've really stumbled upon and I did want to pass them on to you guys so that you can save yourself a few bucks and maybe pick up some really cool Mattel figures. So as of right now guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.